Hey YouTube, it's Petey Two Finger, and I just got back from my uh, my granddaughter's birthday party. Beautiful weather. My daughter rented a uh, park with a pavilion that has built-in barbecues. So she did she did a barbecue. She didn't ask me for any help, which I would have gladly helped out, but. Um, she knows I had this back issue, and and she asks her, her uh, her husband's brother, to help out. And yeah, everything was wonderful. The food was great. All my uh, wives' relatives were there. My brothers were there. I've got two brothers, and we really, everyone was just uh, on their on their best behavior. As well, we lost my mom, and I think that had a that's had an effect, maybe. And hopefully that'll hold out, and we can we can uh, spend time together, enjoying each other's company. Without uh, there's been one particular issue in my family, one person who loses their temper, um, and that kind of really ruins it. Anyway, I wanted to show you <clears throat> my birthday gift. This was what I got from my brother Bjorn. This is a banjo lele. It, uh, it was in uh, much poor condition. It's like 1040. We got home at about 730. My wife and I just dove right in on this. Uh, I believe this was manufactured in the 20s or 30s. We, uh, it's one size, uh, like a quarter inch ratchet dri uh, or uh, quarter inch driver. Uh, for all of these fasteners, we, we completely disassembled the whole thing. I, it, I mean, it was bad. This thing, it right, honey? Yes, yeah, so, uh, yeah, it would have been something I would have been like... Throw it away. away, yeah. So I scrubbed it with Ajax and a toothbrush, got it all wet in there, um, and then dried everything off, put... Uh, lemon oil on all the wood and then there's this trick that I do where I I'll spray winch, windshield washer uh, solvent like regular Windex you'll spray that on after you've rubbed in a coat of the uh, lemon oil and then you you go over it with a paper towel and what comes up is nasty and you do that a couple of times and you can really get something looking fantastic. And then put another final coat of lemon oil and rub that in. Uh, polish the frets. Uh, the nut fell out. I sanded the nut and re-glued it. Disassembled the tuners, polished them because these were all rusty. The screws on the back of the screw heads were rusty. Po uh, cleaned up these tuners and oiled them. Although, I don't know if that was smart. They're supposed to grab. I may clean that oil out of there. Um, this was rusty. This tailpiece was really rusty. It's got this single, it's a nut that, it's a weird, like a spade shaped nut with a hole and that swings down and goes. Then there's through this button here and there's a fastener. It's all the same size drives. It's a calf skin. Check. It's a calf skin, uh, banjo head. So this thing
So this is a banjo lele. We completely disassembled it, and I, I even removed the, uh, the the calfskin drum head, which I scrubbed that with Ajax. It was nasty, and I got I got it looking great. But then it was like, how do I get this thing back up to, to, to tension? There was a brass ring, and you had to wrap the 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 calfskin wraps around that and then comes up underneath this other ring that's the same size so man it was a turkey of a job getting that to uh, fit back in there i found that um after quite a few frustrating attempts and even going and i give up looking at youtube for help um I took a hair dryer and dried it out because it had a little bit of moisture in it and it was still floppy. And once it dried out, it held the form that it needed to hold a little better. And then I was able to just kind of go around it in a circular pattern about three or four times and just popping back in whatever had popped out got me to where we were able to, both of us working in tandem, uh, reinstalling all of these little bracket screw jobby grabbers that hold the thing down to tension. So uh, I got to give credit where credit's due. My lovely wife sanded all of these. Each and every one of these was hand sanded because they were, uh, the thing was, it was horrific. So I am uh, very thankful to my younger brother. I'm going to purchase another set of ukulele strings for this and maybe try to find out some more information. I'm more than likely going to just tune it my own way. This is not the first instruments he's given me. He gave me the Cork 45 and he also gave me this Harmony, which uh, looks like it's pretty old as well. This one was floppy. It was coming apart. Um, you can see it's still not 100%, but the whole, the whole top was coming up. And I glued, clamped it up, glued it, um, and then I, I did the varnish job on it, uh, put this little hanger so this hangs on the wall. So, the, But this is a nice little... Uh, So, uh, kind of fun little toys, wall hangers, and who knows, maybe I'll be able to use this in a recording or a... I love the tonality of that. It's got that... Uh, 
you're down home on the farm. <laughs> anyway, that was a birthday gift from my younger brother, Bjorn. A very appreciated. Uh, thank you very much to my brother Bjorn for that gift. Banjo Lely. Super, super cool stuff. All right, you guys. Take care of yourselves and peace.